Applying math and science in your welding endeavors helps in understanding and solving welding problems. The benefit of learning what causes MIG wire to melt includes seeing why a key variable like stick out must be kept in close control. Being able to calculate weld penetration will help improve weld quality and in solving welding problems quickly. Two factors cause MIG wire to melt. The first is the current passing through the wire from the MIG tip to the arc. This causes the wire to get very hot. It's called resistance heating. The wire tip can reach 500 degrees or more before it reaches the arc. Exactly how hot it becomes depends on the stick out length from the gun tip to arc and the amount of current. The second factor and the major cause of heating this hot wire tip past the melting point, 2500 degrees of welding steel, is the energy required to get the electrons flowing through the arc into the solid wire surface. To get the electrons into the wire it takes a great deal of energy. This energy is released at the wire or molten drop surface causing it to melt. This is the equation presented and defined in part one of this subject video entitled Welding Math, Deposition and Penetration Part 1. The wire melting rate and weld penetration can be quickly calculated by using a computer spreadsheet. The following shows how it is done and what occurs when various changes are made in the welding parameters. To put the equation in a computer spreadsheet, it is necessary to type the items as shown and use an asterisk as a multiplication operator and a caret to raise an item to the power, such as the caret 2 following amps, which will raise it to the power of 2. The words amps and stick out could be replaced with the actual values to make the calculations. An even better way is to use the spreadsheet and put the values of amps and stick out in a cell on the spreadsheet. In this case, they were put in cells B1 and B2. It is a good idea to type in what they represent in the columns to the left. This way you'll remember. The equation itself is placed in one of the cells below, as noted. The answer will appear in that cell. It is also a good idea to put what the answer represents in the cell to the left and the units in the cell to the right. Then when the calculation is made, it will read in this case, melting rate equals, the value in the cell will be what the equation calculates, pounds per hour will be at the right. This is exactly what you would type in the equation cell, no spaces. Now anytime you change the values in B1 and B2, a new value for melting rate will be shown in the cell with the equation. This table was prepared to show the effect of changing stick out on deposition rate. The wire deposition rate was kept at 5.5 pounds per hour that occurred with a 3 8 inch stick out. Then the stick out was changed but not the wire feed speed or melting rate. The current that was needed to produce 5.5 pounds per hour with this new stick out was determined using the equation in the spreadsheet. This is easiest to do by trial and error. Therefore, put in current values and calculate the deposition rate until you get it close to the 5.5 value. Notice the significant reduction in current that occurs as the stick out increases. This is the equation introduced in part one that defines weld penetration given amps, volts, and travel speed. This is the spreadsheet equation using asterisks, multipliers, and carats to raise to a power. Note the cube root is determined using a caret and one third or 0.333. In addition, you'll see parentheses. These are used the same as in any algebraic approach. You can put parentheses around any term and the inner set will calculate first. In fact, there is an extra set used here shown in red. They are not needed, but they will also not create any problems. If in doubt, use extras but be sure they are in pairs. As with the melting rate equation, you can put this one in the same form on a spreadsheet. Since there are three variables, it makes it even easier to use the spreadsheet to calculate when changes are made. A fun exercise is to put the penetration equation in the computer spreadsheet and evaluate what happens as changes are made in amps, volts, and travel. 
Setting a base condition with 035 wire of 150 amps, 23 volts, and 10 inches a minute travel yields a penetration value of 0.087 inches. From this base condition, we'll check to see what the effect is of increasing travel speed by 10%. The penetration, as noted, will decrease to 0.084 inches or minus 3.6%. From this base condition, we'll check to see the effect of increasing voltage by 10%. Remember the voltage is raised to the power of 2 and it is in the denominator, so increasing it like travel will decrease penetration, in this case to 0.082 inches or minus 6%. Note a key reason for the decrease, even though the arc power is higher, is the arc voltage is wider at the base and is less concentrated. The most influential factor on penetration is current, because amps are raised to the fourth power. The penetration increases to 0 .099 inches or plus 14 percent. In summary, we were able to use the spreadsheet and make quick calculations. We found a 10% increase in travel speed only decreased penetration 3.6%, while a 10% increase in current increased penetration 14%. Or, if you want to make welds 10% faster, to offset the penetration loss, you only need to increase current about 2.5%, or in this case, about 4 amps. These equations can be used to define the effect of any specific changes in key variables on melting rate and penetration. They will provide answers close enough for practical purposes. Some more elaborate models include resistance changes with temperature, etc., but for practical welding ranges, these work fine. For more information on welding math and science, and to learn about our innovative, patented, and inexpensive MIG shielding gas saver system that improves weld starts and typically cut shielding gas use in half, visit our website at www.netwelding.com. Thank you.